I'm going to do a jigged nymph here. Uh, this is a. I could have fun. With, this is a size 16. Well, it's not really. It's a size 10. But at least with a size 10, I can probably tie the fly. Um, there are. You should consider doing these in 12s, 14s, and 16s. Um, uh, tens work fine too, but I, I think uh, on average the smaller flies are, um, they're good, they're really good. So we're just going to pretend this is a 14 or a 16. And what I'm do, doing here is uh, building up some thread next to the bead. So I ran. I, I didn't have uh, my supply of t of slotted beads is very scant right now because the the postal service, the FedEx, UPS just fell down on the job. So I'm using a, a non-slotted bead, which if if you have a ton of non-slotted beads, you can get by just fine. So this is going to be. Um, I'm going to use a uh, wood duck for the tail. This is going to have a soft hackle on it. I'm going to put a wood duck there. Now you might wonder why did I choose a metallic red bead head? Well, because the other two flies I just tied don't have one of those. And I want to show a variety of colors. So one of the things that I've learned when, when I tie flies for videos is sometimes the fly looks just great on my side and it doesn't look so hot on the other side. Sometimes I've got thread showing by the tail. So I want to make sure it doesn't happen here today. As effective as jigged nymphs have been proven, it's hard to believe that we caught anything back, any trout back in the uh, 60s and 70s. So I'm looking, uh, this, is a, this is a Whitlock uh, blend. It's, it's kind of a light hair's ear type of color. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that my red wire will show up with a good contrast. And what I'm trying to do here, not necessarily uh, well, I'm trying to build up a taper here by adjusting how I'm uh, winding. So I've got there and I've got to pull a little bit of dubbing off and kind of twist that. Okay. Now I'm going to, without messing up my tail, now it's, uh, I think the thickness of, I have no idea what thickness of this wire is. I just know it's what I've got. It's not super fine, but it does show up nicely. So I, I'm, I'm moving kind of slowly here. Ooh, I think that was my stomach growling. What I'm doing here is I'm looking for, I tie a lot of one-offs. I say I want a kind of a buff colored body and a darker thorax. I almost always go with a darker thorax. Um, you just find something that looks attractive. And when you're finished, you look at it and go, wow, I really like that. Or, mm-mm, not quite there. So I apologize. I completely forgot I was, what I was talking about. I, I hope it wasn't the sense that needed to be finished. Partridge hackle. A little tiny thing. I'm not at all sure how well I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to get a little bit bigger one. I think these are all, I, I pulled these off earlier. 
I don't think any of these are any bigger than the other one. So I'm, I pulled the fluff off. I might get a turn. We're going to try this. I can definitely hear my stomach growling now. So I'm going to just, oh yeah, the physicality of flies. Boy, when you're tying big flies, big saltwater flies, pike, musky, bass flies, you're in there, you're reefing on them. You're, you're wrestling with the materials. And it's, it's really kind of, it's really fun. Boy, you're not wrestling with these. You're trying to be very gentle, very, I mean, you're just being firm enough to get things tied in. Your threads aren't as strong. So this is looking really good and I'm just really grateful that it is and I'm just hoping I don't mess it up now. So I've got that stem sticking up there and I can just wind it down but I'm gonna see if I can trim it just a little bit with these fine scissors, oh yeah. What I don't want to do is, is trim the thread off. So can you, you can actually see that stem right there. That's okay. That's, that's not a big deal. But what, what if I put just a... So I don't want to put so much dubbing on there that it mats down the hackle. I want that hackle to stand out the way it does. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Still got that hackle real nice. Now, I, I didn't super glue my thread. I got a nice three whip finish. I'll do another three whip finish that's absolutely irrelevant. But if you're insecure, it's just fine to do that. Some people just yank on that thread and break it off. There you have it.